Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Coding with Halo. Today, we're going to connect the server family to use it as an OTP, a one-time password. Okay, uh, basically, server sign is really helpful for sending SMSs and other stuff like voice messages, etc. And you can see all the products here, but right now we're going to use for the SMS. Okay, you can see all the other things. So, I'm going to log in to my account. Okay, and we have here the customer and the IP. Directly, whenever you, like, as soon as you enter, you have that. And you have, like, an account balance of, like, $5. Okay, so that's fine. We have a trial version. So, basically, we will be able to just test it directly. Okay? So, let's go to our code. And let's do an... NPM init file. Perfect. Now let's install a um, Rotemo. And Telesign has an SDK wrapper, so let's install that. So it's Telesign SDK. Okay, perfect. So we're going to create a Rotemo file. And we're going to add a the a customer ID customer ID the API key and, and my phone number which is gonna be the phone number that I have with a uh, Skype okay this tool is actually really helpful for you know a uh, ARMs and the capabilities of Telesign actually lets you send, you know, OTPs to Skype numbers, for example, or Google phone numbers. Um, I've seen this really helpful for uh, international numbers as well. Okay, so customer ID, I'm going to copy that from Telesign and put it here. The API key, I'm going to copy that as well and put it here. And yeah, I'm going to go to the code now. And let's start coding. So the first thing is going to be a require rotemo.config. I'm going to do a const telesign sdk equals to require telesign sdk. And let's create an async function. S uh, send SMS. Okay. Where we're going to send the phone number and the message. Okay. And let's do a try catch here. As always, console.err. Err. And here let's do uh, const client equals to new telesign SDK with the process.n dot customer ID and then process.n dot API key. Now we have that. Now we have to send the message. So it's going to be client dot sms dot message and we are going to need to send a callback function here send a message to a target phone number okay so we have to create a callback so let's do sms callback so we're going to create that a phone number it's going to be a phone and the message we're going to do like hello coding with our Okay, so let's create the function SMS callback to be an error response body response, yeah. And basically what we're gonna do is if there's an error, then we're gonna do like the console error error. If not, then console log response body. Um let's now oh sorry this is the message
Okay, so let's create a function here. Oh, and this is not a function. Sorry, this is PMs. Okay, so let's do like send SMS, and we're gonna send the browser dot then dot phone number, and then the message, which will be the opening of the tower. Okay, so let's test this code. We have here my phone. And let's do now in XS and hit send. It takes some time and there it is. No coding without a test. Okay, so you can see that the message was sent. So yeah, you can go here to tell the time, you can see how much it spent. I use the IP test this and yeah, I have the balance decreased. Um but basically you can go to the solutions and you can see that they have uh, some OTP functionality, like functions already built in, ID verification, WhatsApp, uh, I don't know, lots of other things. And if you want to try a different one, you can call, go for example here to SMS verify, try here. You can go to your like Node.js and you can see how to do like a OTP functionality here in the prompt and everything to Validate the phone number, uh, or you can just any other languages that you want. Okay, so yeah, that's basically how you do OTP uh, or send SMSs with Teletime. If you have any comments, just let me know. Ping me if you have any suggestions on what to do next, and see you on the next video. Bye bye.